Let's talk a little bit more about this topic of migrants. Tension over sanctuary policies are rising after that University of Georgia nursing student was killed by a man from Venezuela on a popular hiking trail on campus. There is a group that is demanding that the mayor of Athens now resign. During a press conference this week, protesters showed up and accused the mayor of having blood on his hands for this murder of Lake and Riley. And they shouted invasion. And this is America justice for Lakin as well. The state of Georgia's policy on sanctuary cities banning them as of 2022. The state can withhold funding if a city breaks the code. But amid Lake and Riley's death and the crisis at the southern border, a 2019 resolution signed by Mayor Gertz is fueling controversy. And it reads Georgia has more than 375,000 undocumented migrants. And it calls it necessary that, quote, those without documentation feel welcome and comfortable interacting with local law enforcement, their government, and all services provided by such. Here to talk more about the concerns about safety surrounding migrants in the community is Lori Camp. She's also the organizer of the Make Athens Safe Again. Lori, thank you for being here. I do want to point out that thank we you. reached out to the mayor and we have not heard back. Um, but you found it important, one, to be at this press conference, but you've organized the Make Athens Safe Again rally, which will happen on March 5th. What are you hoping this accomplishes? I'm hoping that it will allow the citizens of Clark County and the students that are held in our care to be represented represented by a government that wants to do what we ask them to do and not for them to put their own political agenda ahead of the safety and welfare of our citizens and the students in our care. So you hold the mayor accountable. Do you also believe he should resign? Yes. Why? He has proven beyond a reasonable doubt, in my opinion, that he is unfit for office, that he has violated his oath of office. The resolution that he signed in 2019 had no community input. We weren't able to vote on it. It was not a decision that we had any say in. And he chose to make this decision without us. And the other commissioners that signed it as well that were on the commission in 2019, I would like for them to resign as well because they put their own political agenda above our safety and our welfare, the people that pay their salary. How long have you lived in Athens? I have been here since I was seven years old, 1977. I grew up here. My family is still here. I went to school here and I taught in um, Athens Clark County Schools for 28 years. Right. And you worked with migrants and minorities in that capacity. How long have you had yes. these co safety concerns and was it well prior to Lakin's murder? I've had these safety concerns for a while. Uh, there, uh, we also have a DA in Athens that puts our criminals back on the streets. Um, there are a lot of crimes that she will not prosecute now. And so since she has taken over, she has completely littered our streets with criminals that are just back out there again. And uh, she loses the trials that she tries. And I'm actually very thankful that she did um, assign a special pros prosecutor for Lakin's case. I also had a friend whose son was murdered a year ago. And the rally that we have on March 5th will be the one year anniversary of her son's death. His name was Javani McDavid, and he was shot and killed in our Athens streets. So I have been concerned for quite a while. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.